And hello, welcome back YouTube. I just had quite the Valley Metro moment. Um, so me and uh, the two people that actually got on the bus at Oak Street with me, we're all getting off at Van Buren. By the way, it's uh, 5.22 p.m. Thursday, July 28th, 2022. Uh, it's a Thursday. Um, so yeah, we were all, all getting off at Van Buren and I was explaining to them how the reason I was getting off at Van Buren was that yesterday, I had made the transfer to the light rail and the people who had stayed on the bus and got off at Washington didn't because of the amount of time it took for the bus to get across the intersection and then those same people to walk back backwards and backtrack across that same intersection um, waiting for the for the red light two changes of the light they missed their train I did not um, anyway as we're like having this discussion and and I think they pulled the string and I pulled the string to stop at Van Buren um, the driver's just driving right past the Van Buren stop and they're all three of us at the same time are like hey stop here we're getting off here and and the driver as he is passing the stop yells out I know where the damn stop is and and it's like yeah dude it's fucking back there <laughs> And yeah, he stopped. It wasn't a long way past the stop, but I was, you know, it was good. It was, it was, a, it was a good. I want to say three or four bus lengths, five bus lengths past the bus stop. Um, and and the, the girl, and it was the one that was in the video as I was walking up. Yeah, she's far, uh, cute, cute from afar, but far from good. Um, I got a feeling she was probably gorgeous before she started doing drugs maybe five years ago, but yeah, it doesn't have much in the way of teeth left and her skin is getting tore up too, but God, other than that, one, yeah, it's petite and cute and nice disposition though. And she's rolling with a, with an older homeless dude. So man, those older homeless dudes, they're, they're doing better than me in the love life department. Gotta admit, I'm a wee bit jealous of that shit. That seems like everywhere I go, I see see that that couple arrangement and meanwhile you know i get platitudes from mine on text messages have a great show be safe yeah with no help from you bitch uh anyway so yeah looks like once again i get i get here a little bit quicker than the people that got off the bus in washington because they're still over there waiting for their uh, crosswalk um but uh, anyway, she was, as she got off, she's like, I don't like walking, damn it. <laughs> and they were going up to Van Buren. So it actually worked out in my favor. It, it, it ended up letting me off closer to, uh, closer to Washington. Um, whereas uh, for them, they had to backtrack walking up to uh, Van Buren. And I've been thinking about this, like, well, you know, what could Phoenix do to make it better? And the solution is simple. Um, like, I'm trying to think why that bus stop is there. What, what purpose does that bus stop serve? And, and the only positive thing I can think of of the 44 being there is if you're transferring from the southbound 44, because after it leaves that bus stop, it goes over, it, it turns right at the next light and it goes on into the, uh, into the uh, SkyTrain station. And I've said many times that the SkyTrain station should really be a transit center, like a proper regional transit center. But of course, <laughs> of course, Phoenix doesn't want transit riffraff in, in that, which is part of the airport. So it'll never happen for, you know, political reasons, because because these are these are those are, you know, those are airport class citizens that are over there. And these are this is this is riffraff that comes over here. In fact, it's such bad riffraff that they put up these little barrier fences to make sure nobody can sit or lie down on those benches because uh yeah that's how how hostile the city of phoenix is to uh transit riders as we stand here in the middle of a, of a giant strode adjacent to another strode waiting for our train um so anyway thinking about that stop um so that used to be a transit center there that's now the um uh, what do you call it, the rideshare uh, waiting lot where rideshare drivers queue up and wait for their calls to, to uh, be dispatched by their apps into, um, into Sky Harbor. So yeah, nobody's taking uh, public transit to and from that. Those are all people that are, like that's functionally part of their workplace and it's all, it's all driving related. So that's a, that's a non, non-stop. So the only purpose that is served by 
the 44 stopping at that stop is an easy transfer from the uh, 44 to the 32, which is something I regularly do. So, I mean, I, I, that's, that's something that needs to be taken into account. And, and I'm not saying there can't be a bus stop there, but there really needs to be a bus stop right there, right on that side of the intersection. Um, where you, people can get off and just and just walk directly across, and not have to have to backtrack, and and not have the potential of missing this train, uh, and having to wait, you know, 12, 15, 20 or more minutes, depending on the time of day, for the next train. Anyway, something to think about, as if Valley Metro uh, operations thinks about their transit riders.